Coming up, we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Xcover 2. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Now whether it's clumsiness or just a rough job, certain people need a tough phone, and the Galaxy Xcover 2 is meant for just that type of person. How's it hold up otherwise though? Well, let's take a look at the specs. The Galaxy Xcover 2 has a 4-inch WVGA display and is powered by a 1 GHz dual-core Cortex-A9 CPU. For memory, we're looking at 1 GB of RAM and 4 GB of internal storage expandable by microSD. The rear-facing camera is 5 megapixels and capable of shooting 720p video. Up front, we have a 0.3 megapixel camera. Powering everything is a 1,700 milliamp hour battery. It may be tough, but the Galaxy Xcover 2 certainly isn't going to be winning any awards for its looks. It isn't a particularly ugly phone per se, but it's clear that this phone was built to be tough and easy to hold on to. And it certainly is tough. While like any of these rugged phones, the screen is the weak point, the rest of the phone feels very solid, and the covered port should keep it free of dust and moisture. Most rugged phones make trade-offs in the display department, and that is definitely the case here. At 4 inches and a resolution of 480 by 800, we're looking at a pixel density of 233 pixels per inch, which is certainly not on the high side. Colors aren't as super saturated as they are on many Samsung phones, maybe as a result of the Xcover 2 having an LCD display instead of Super AMOLED. This has one other advantage, as the screen seems just a little sharper than it would otherwise. To get a handle on performance, we ran our usual suite of tests, starting with Antutu, which managed an average score of just over 6,600 over the course of 10 tests. Epic Citadel managed an average frame rate of around 35 frames per second in high quality mode, and 37 frames per second in high performance mode. In everyday use, little to no lag was present. Apps launched fairly quickly and light gaming worked well, though you might have trouble with more demanding games. The Galaxy Xcover 2 runs Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean overlaid with Samsung's ubiquitous TouchWiz UI. The usual Google apps are included, as are the normal Samsung apps like S-Memo, S-Voice, GameHub, ChatOn, S-Organizer, and My Files. The only out-of-the-ordinary app included that I noticed was the workout app Cardio Trainer. The 5-megapixel rear-facing camera definitely takes a decent photo, especially when the lighting is good. Low-light photos tend to be blurry but without much visual noise. The 0.3-megapixel front-facing camera leaves a lot to be desired, on the other hand. The 720p video looks nice enough with decent colors, but there is definitely some jerkiness and no image stabilization is present. With a battery capacity of 1,700 milliamp hours, you might not expect battery life to be too good, but keep in mind that this phone isn't pushing too much in the hardware department. After a day of testing, benchmarking, and shooting with the brightness set to about 25%, I managed to get around 12 hours. In more normal use, you should get better numbers, though I was running without a SIM card present, so that will eat up some extra battery life. Basically, if you need the toughness and don't mind putting up with lower end specs and the extra bulk, the Galaxy Xcover 2 isn't a bad choice. If you don't need that toughness though, there are plenty of better options out there. Want to know more? We have a full article at AndroidAuthority.com. Hit up the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, maybe give it a like or share it with your friends. If you want to stay caught up with everything we're doing, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and as always, thanks for watching.